Here's problem number 36. It says this container is composed of a right circular cylinder. That's what you have right here on the bottom. It's like part of a Coke can. And a right circular cone. The cone is on top right here. It has a slant height of 13 coming down. and We don't know what it is from here to the base. We do know from here over radius is 12 and that would tell us the height is 5. But We don't need that in this problem. I did the 5 by using the Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. It says, which is closest to the surface area of the container? So, we have, this is interesting, <clears throat> we have the bottom, which is a circle. So that's going to be pi times the radius squared. Plus, we have this part around right here. That's the lateral area of the of that um, cylinder that we have now if we look up the lateral area that's going to tell us that it's simply 2 pi r times the height so this and this will give me the surface area of the bottom and the lateral part here now I just need is the around the cone just around it so I need the lateral area there notice that I'm not going to be this top is covered right here so I'm not going to be getting any area there. So I just need it for the cone, just the outer part of the cone, basically. So that's the lateral area of it, which the formula for that, if you look at your sheet, says pi times the radius times the lateral slant height is what that is. Slant height, that's how we're going to get the lateral area, the slant height. So we're going to use that 13. So we're just going to put all this together, and that should be it. This is the circle on the bottom. This is the lateral area of the cylinder right through here, and this is the lateral area of the cone. So when we put it all together, I have pi, the radius. Now again, distance all the way across is 24, so that's 12 plus 2 times pi times the radius of 12, height of 10, plus pi times the radius, 12, times this slant height of 13. When I do all this, I'm going to get 144 pi plus that's, one, that's 120 times 2 is 240 times pi. 13 times 12 is 156 pi. When I put all these together, it's 540 pi. If I do 540 times pi, I'm going to get choice D right here, 1,696. You had to think through on this problem because you had three basic parts. You had the bottom, which is a circle. You had the lateral part of the cylinder, and you had the lateral part of the cone. So took a little bit there just thinking through and seeing the picture, but there's our answer to problem 36. It is D.